right? Each one of these individuals had a family. We're grieving as a law enforcement community. We, we're grieving for each other. We're grieving for our loss, and we're grieving for our families. And we ask for your prayers. Not only for us, like I say, for the deputies, but the families and the co-workers. As law enforcement, we are a family. And we stand here together, as you can see. But our number one priority is the safety of our, of our community. The safety of the people that live here. The safety of law enforcement. We've activated the, East, the, the uh, Louisiana Sheriff's Association Task Force. Uh, and as you can see behind me, several of my fellow sheriffs are here. Uh, and we want to assure you that we, we, are, we are having a coordinated effort that is going forward to ensure that we continue to provide the services necessary to protect the citizens of this parish. With God's help, we will get through this. To me, this is not so much about gun control as it is about what's in men's hearts. And until we come together as a nation, as a people, to heal as a people. If we don't do that, and this madness continues, we will surely perish as a people. So I would just ask for your prayers and your support for all of the families of those that are involved here today and continue to pray for this parish, this city, this state, and this nation. What he is saying is we are going to lose our freedom if we do not stop all the craziness and the chaos and the anarchy, please stop. Uh, as the others have said, we've had six officers shot uh, today. Three of those officers will be RPD officers. Uh, two were killed in the line of duty. One is 41 years old uh, and has uh, just under a year of service. The other is 32 years old with 10 years of service. 